Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3 and where we left off we had completed the complete destruction of Army Group North and pretty much all of Army Group Centre, well the encirclement of Army Group North and the destruction of Army Group Centre. Um, so on this episode I am looking to now force through an advance into Eastern Prussia. That's what I've decided, so maybe a new line that runs along the Vistula River slash boog if we can get to like this river line here so like i'm thinking capturing all of this territory because i have a lot of tank forces and there's not a lot of stuff really facing us all of the german units are in the south now i'm doing a few basic attacks here just to straighten out the front uh purely because well there's a whole bunch of pretty weak units in front of us uh, and I can. So let's go for it. Let's try and just push out, really, in the south as well. Because why the hell not? We might as well. And, wow, a Bulgarian division literally just melted there immediately. They just gave up. So, happy days. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone's enjoying this series. We're sort of getting to the point now where I think we're going to just slowly but surely steamroll Germany. So that's going to be fun. We're just going to steamroll them. And judging by the fact we're moving up in the south very easily, that is really good. Oh. I'm not sure what's causing us this amount of ease, but... Hey, whatever it is, I ain't going to complain. But yes, I'm taking all my tank divisions and I'm going to spread them out. So I'm going to take one group to take or run past Konisberg. Uh, I'm going to take another group to head south towards um, or just really straight ahead. It's sort of southeast towards um, Mondlin. And then another group will head south towards Bretzlitisk. And then we'll, you know, see how we look from there. But hopefully I can take all of these German units down in one fell swoop. But we're pushing up everywhere else that we can. You... I think we should just batter straight through. Against these Romanian units, you know, they just have nothing. And is this an opportunity presenting itself before my very eyes? I think it is, you know. Let's-a go! Yes. I think this is a pretty big opportunity, you know. We'll get there on the 11th of October. You can complete the encirclement of all these units. I know you can. Supply is a bit of an issue, but, you know... It's not a problem. We'll get there about two o'clock. Yes, there we go. This is a great opportunity. We're about to take and encircle an SS Panzer Division. And speaking of opportunities, there's another one here. Right, go for it. Push up. Right, take all of these infantry, move straight in. I think this is what collapse looks like. Deep battle. 
It's working hard. And we just got... Oh, we just got a... Uh... Oh, the... Uh... Because of the I picked being a soldier, we just got the uh, like upgrade for that, which is really cool. Happy days. Right. Strategically redeploy. Strategically redeploy. Let's not give them a chance to get out. And there's an opportunity there to overrun another unit or two. And there we go. So we've caught another couple of Panzer Divisions there. How many is that? Twenty-nine thousand, but another three units. And another probably a hundred odd thousand troops in the north. Keep forcing there. And aha! So yeah, if your encirclement, you know, doesn't immediately work out, just keep trying and try some more until it does. This was what was wanted. So how many is that? 126,000, very good. Just struggling to finish pocketing this. Really struggling. It is a it's a bloody cavalry division. Sort it. Kill it. the battle. Disappointing. We can't let them escape at the end of the day. this ruddy battle at Grom though that I just you know they're fighting relatively well when they get good defensive terrain mirroring Germany almost but the more units they funnel into this bottleneck the better really well, I'm not going to attack that I'm going to attack the a lot of infantry that I can just move in. You know what? Let's take you on a bit of a road trip. Seriously now, you know, this was the same problem you had last time. Please hurry up and take that back, thank you. Let's not let them escape. We are losing some battles every now and then. I 
can fling more motorized in. Ooh! That's a gap. Hello. So when the German AI can't even man a front line properly, that's when you start to think that you've probably got this campaign in the bag. Because that is bad. We are going to push straight in. It's just a shame this didn't happen a little bit earlier. Well, that's what happens when you go bold. Sometimes you just have to, you know, roll the dice. The Romanian attack didn't work the first time, but this time it's going to work. Right, there we go. Re managed to enforce that encirclement. Push. Okay, so all of these motorized units I'm going to send straight over there. I'm going to send infantry to support any ongoing battles. And to help with cleanup duty. Ah, we've got Agricultural Giant back. There we go, that's what we wanted. smashing through them but we are taking losses this isn't all just one way fighting right, we just lost a battle that we can immediately re-engage tank division to push up, use these infantry units to just hold them in place. Got more infantry there, let's move them up. Come on, break through. Oh, I want to take the 3rd Panzer Grenadier Division out of the equation. Push. We lost the battle of whatever, Jagvela? I don't know. Right, 
And another little tiny encirclement just to, you know, help them out a little bit. 152,000. Thank you very much. We will definitely take that. You know what we might as well just finish up with our battle on the river and there we go right let's try and do another few encirclements might as well try and break over the river We have the tank forces for it, that's for sure. And a push into Romania wouldn't go amiss. How many tank divisions do I have here? Right, let's see how many Germans we can just kill by doing this. We have so many battles ongoing. Good. So that's yet more damage done to the German war effort. And that's another encirclement. Let's try and hold it. And this is where the number of units we have is going to start to uh, hold some more weight, I reckon. Because as the front gets narrower, you think it would help Germany. Not if Germany's lost, you know, every single unit in their army, but it won't. And we're going to take another couple of units, I think, here very soon. You know what? I'm just going to leave behind that yeah, you free. Nearly there. Ah, we lost the battle. Frustrating, but we can now send reinforcements straight over. So there's no chance of a counterattack. And we finally lost the Battle of Mamel. Finally. Let's reinforce. Didn't quite go 100% according to plan, but we still caught a ridiculous amount of German units. And completely crumbled their northern wing. Come on, just get in there. There we go. So there's another few more German units captured. Uh, 
And I say the aim will be to push in here as well. How's Japan looking? Yeah, relatively good. We can force our way in there. Anything else we should be aware of? Like, yeah, that's a good spot that we can just sort of push in. Okay, so we need to reinforce up here with units. Take back these airfields. Make our way down to Vladivostok. I think China is causing damage to them. Oh, we just completed a load of techs. I mean, 44 level techs we don't need to run on. And they're all fine. Cargo holds, that's worth getting. As are these ones. And night equipment. Oh, that's definitely worth having. We want night equipment. Now, I'm still not great with my Air Force, I must say. It's not my specialist area of expertise. But, I think we're about to capture another five more Axis units. Push into Odessa, let's just go for it. They are all very bad on the old supply. South is uh, an interesting one. Aha! Good. Push straight in. Let's kill these guys. How many units did we manage to capture? 45, so 50 odd thousand. Including another Panzer Division. And the mud starts to clear, so that means we might be able to push in. Look, finish this. Got some more units freed up. We are getting units shattering. That Panzer Grenadier Division has been the bane of my existence, and I've got a feeling it's going to bloody escape. If it manages to escape, I will be bloody pissed. Move all of you out of the marsh. Send those Plutariat divisions just to form an extra vanguard. You, you need to move up. Our units have fought extremely well. Like, 
I am very impressed with the performance of them, all things considered. Only a military police unit that's holding us in place there now. Encirclement of Odessa went well. And we are pushing out that semi motorized infantry unit very quickly. I'd like to capture another, what's that? That'll be another 20 odd, 30, 40 odd thousand troops. Bulgarian unit again didn't last. Take out that organization. See, we can afford units to shatter, but we can't afford the amount of fuel that we're having to give up at the moment. We're going to have to call a halt relatively soon, I think. Because fuel is looking mighty problematic. So we got control over Western Russia. Which is very good. That's been an objective to get that back. And there we go. We finally took Mammal. It took enough bloody time, but we finally took it. And I believe that Panzer Grenadier Division probably got out of there alright. Rather frustratingly. We've got a lot of units in poor supply. This funny little feeling this time things aren't going to be as straightforward for holding us back. Not even the Fuhrer Grenadier Division is going to hold us back this time. We are going to absolutely run rampage into Romania. Now the 12th Infantry Division, I hope they get all the honours because they are holding down a ridiculous amount of Germans. Oh, uh, Soviets, sorry. This single Infantry Division is holding off a huge amount of units. got some snowfall so I think relatively soon I might call this a bit of a day like how's our percentages now 36% Dodgy infrastructure is keeping them out, you know, it's really short on the front line.
Okay, so... We have conquered a huge amount of our territory back. Now, they can pump out units like no one's business. They have enough manpower to do it, but the majority of their units are concentrated in the south here. Um... I think next summer might be the time when we go all in. So a single tank division just doing the business. So trapped in that peninsula, there's a good few German units there. So about another 150 odd thousand troops probably that we've just killed there. But let's chuck in one unit there just to help out. getting a lot of streamers for the fact that we've beaten them back. Looks like they've been building a lot of ports. Medium tanks, yes, we do want stronger armoured support. Take both of you and move you south. Attack towards Ismail. And you know what? They are very stretched. Let's see if we can't end this episode by taking out Romania. Now, I think I've got a puppet war goal on them. Yeah, I do. Right, let's do it. Let's go straight in. We're just going to bypass them. And then any Romanian units in the front, which, to be fair, are mostly, I think, in the far north. Like the 12th Infantry Division, which so far has been a bloody pain in my ass. Let's take Slovakia. Right, they're calling more and more on sort of basic volunteer units. Right, go, go, go. are getting a lot of units shattering. You know, it, you just have to accept that that's going to happen, I think. But hopefully, not before we take out Romania. Come on. Make your way down south. Ah, we got that new ball, ball bear. Oh, there's only one infantry division in Polesti. Now, how about in Crest?
move you south towards Odessa. Reclaim it. Come on. Imagine that we're not going to do very well in this battle. Yeah, doesn't look like it. But we can send all of our infantry units south to lend some support. Still, for whatever reason, can't win in the far south. You know, Jesus. Move up one more. So how many units is that? 42,000, so yeah, 150 odd thousand troops that we've got in the Corland area. pushing right we just won the battle of Pudolski now with a bit of luck with a lot of luck We can win this one. Yeah, they're struggling. They are really struggling to hold this. Just to tidy up back here, we've got a couple of units. Now let's move up. Like so. We've got more guard infantry that we can just ram in straight away. Tank divisions, tank divisions, motorized, motorized, tank division, tank division. Take him out. Are we overrunning units? 
I would say yes we are. Okay, we're not going to knock Romania out of the war by the looks of it. Just judging by the fact that the Germans have reinforced the capital before I could get there. But now there's a huge amount of German units just in the south, away from the north. Uh, my tank divisions have just broken through. So good luck, Germany. And I think I will call it an episode here. It's been about a month. So thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. As you can see, we've pretty much completely decimated Germany now. Uh, they're pretty much 100% out of Soviet territory. And we're now moving into ex-Polish and German territory. Um, finishing off just a couple of pockets um, of troops in the far north. But we've completely obliterated the German army group center and north um, and we've re-established now a front line into Romania and I've rushed a load of troops to, uh, to sort of handle that ASAP uh, but they did reinforce here in time which is a bit of a shame but you know what can I do right now this distraction is working well because it's meaning that I can move into the north pretty much unopposed so thank you very much for watching I look forward to seeing you I don't know what that was not English what I just said there Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Parts of Iron Free in the Soviet Union campaign. Thanks again. Bye-bye.